Hi everyone, so today I have a sponsored video for you from Tonic Studios for their brand new uh, launch of this really cute, adorable set called Delightful Sweet Treats Van. Um, it this is, is yeah, for their March Madness sale that they do every year. And they're usually items that are just very unique or, you know, um, a new memory book, all those kinds of things, right? That are really awesome, and then they have different sales. So definitely check those out. I'll have all that information in the description box. But this was set free of charge for my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased items through those links. Uh, what I love about this design, honestly, is, you know, we want to make things that are spectacular and just so fun and um, that come together pretty quickly, right? So this one has, this larger piece right here is going to make the whole, pretty much the whole body of the sweet treats um, delivery or truck or van or however. Look at that. Pretty cool. So you can imagine that you're just going to fold this and kind of bring it in and that's basically the base of it. And then you have, as you know, Tonic always does so nicely, your different mat layers with inlays or you don't have to use the inlay if you don't want. You just Maybe you put the little window, maybe you don't put the window. You have the door. You have um, on this side like the little opening where you can hear your, your little ordering spot there. Let me move this out of the way if it doesn't. Okay, there we go. Um, another mat layer for the top. The cute little signage on top. You can do ice cream. You can do sweet treats. You can put, you know, stamp happy birthday or something, whatever you would like on the very top. So you can imagine that would be at the top of your little van. Um, obviously you saw the intro images and maybe by now you've seen some other images of it. Um, you have your wheels. You have, oh, the word coffee if you want. You have a way to close up the back doors if you would like to use that little clasp. You have this area that helps you kind of reinforce the bottom where you're going to put your wheels. Um, you have your awning. I mean, you know, little what's that called like over on top of the wheels this little area here <laughs> a little detail there's like a little pretzel with the background or ice cream with the background a different type of ice cream with the background you have your coffee your sweet treat a little cupcake I mean you guys really straightforward you have your grill on the front of it just a lot of ways to dress this guy up and have a lot of fun so I'm gonna get right to it because um, you know in these videos I like to do step by step showing you exactly how you're going to be putting it together or you know if you're seeing that uh, what I did maybe you have a different idea then you can you know pop in your idea at that point so I always like to do step by step so you can see everything um, but what I'm going to do is just get started so I'm going to grab some heavyweight construction kind of cardstock to begin with and then we'll do our matte layering and make it all cute I do like to decorate afterward if you're the type that wants to go ahead and decorate while it's flat like this you know put your panel on then go for it but I am going to put it together first and then I usually add the um, decorative parts afterwards. So let me grab some papers and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just have some heavyweight construction cardstock. Um, it's usually about 350 GSM, something like that, right? Um, so I'm going to take that. We're going to take this guy. We need one of this. And oh, you know what? That reminds me. Let me give you a measurement because I know people like to know that this is the largest die, of course. Um, it is almost 11 inches by um, five and just shy of five and three uh, quarters just a little smaller than that so I'll pop that on there and then um, you, you know your different pieces so that you would need for your basic construction so it does say um, I will say this rectangle piece you're going to need it it goes on top but it also helps hold your signage so if you want this white like the, or the same color as your base go for it if you want it a different color because you know you just want to do a matte layer with it then do that so I'm gonna wait on this one um, for a moment uh, you will need your doors and these are your doors and they're saying to go ahead and cut um, two of those so the door is going to open in the back so we got two of that one uh, what else of the base pieces you're going to want one of this guy this is actually finishes off the front of your little um, van or delivery um, truck there and then I'm trying to see what else should be cut in the same color uh, I suppose that's it. So you do want your sign and your wheels and those kinds of things and those, you know, little bar. Um, but for right now, I'm going to cut these basic pieces. So again, two of this, one of this, one of this, and then we'll talk about the piece that goes on top that holds your sign. Um, but I'll be right back. I know sometimes I like to show, you know, cutting things, but there wasn't too much to show, so it was kind of quick there. It just ran everything through, and actually, you know, 
Um, I probably could have run this guy through at the same time when I had these guys, but I did it in the second pass with the second one anyway, but there you go. Uh, all from one sheet of paper. I did use a two-size paper. Um, if you're using A4, you can probably do the same thing. Uh, let's see here. I'm just scoring this guy on these score lines, getting that shape of our little truck. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then just, this is the back side, you know, this is where the die was. I'm just going to fold that last glue tab there, or the only glue tab on this side. It's easier for me to turn it up towards me, because it's a smaller piece than, you know, this other one I was kind of folding backwards. Okay, so we have more glue tabs right here. And I'm giving them a little crisp this on that one, and then one here. And so they're recommending assembling this guy by going ahead and putting this together and then you bring the front piece on to here. So however you prefer to do that. I always like to use a wet glue because unless you really just tear it, it's never going to come apart. And that's that. But if you have a really high quality, you know, liner tape, people like to use those. But I'm going to actually... I flatten this out just because it's a long um, glue tab and I really want to make sure I'm in contact. So if you flatten it out, it should just work for you because it's symmetrical, right? So I'm just going to hold that down for a minute and then we're at the front of our little truck. While that is setting up, I'm actually going to go ahead and run through the latches because um, I am going to go ahead and cut them out in a white paper just so that they kind of blend in with the background. So I'm going to run this through and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So there's our little guy and you can test it out just... You know, making sure look how cute that is perfect um, this creates a box that is almost three inches tall and five and a quarter inches in the other direction there and about oh almost two and a half inches wide so you can fit lots of treats in there so we have this guy and again I mean you can imagine how you're gonna fold this looks like the larger area there's like a middle size area and then this one's a little bit smaller it's going to the top so Either way, we're going to fold that, you know, to kind of mimic. Actually, it goes in and then out. <laughs> there we go. Right? Um, and if it happens to be the other way, then I'll just change it. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and fold in all the glue tabs. Give them a nice creasing, and I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, guys, so we have that. And so this guy, I'm going to flare that out, flare this out a little bit. Because we're basically going to come in, now you don't have to do it all at once, but um, I feel like I kind of have to get these guys going. So I'm kind of making them come out so that when they touch the surface of this, it'll want to stick better. So let's train that up. And maybe pop those guys in and run along the top. I'll pay attention to that first. This top portion. You know, I'm going to hold this. And just make sure that's lined up really nicely there. That looks really good. Maybe give it a few seconds before I move on to the middle section and then to the very bottom. Hope that makes sense. So I'm kind of focusing on this. Look how nice that looks. Okay, and once I think that's pretty good, I'll just bring this guy in and start kind of focusing on that middle section. Get it close. And I can put my hand in here and make sure I'm bringing that back up where it needs to be. That looks good. I'm going to hold that for just a little bit, maybe 30 seconds or so, and then we'll finish up with this area. Okay, and my little more glue now that I got back down here just to make sure it's good to go. And tuck those in. Tuck that in. Let's make sure this side wants to get tucked in. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> and then that piece already has some glue. And that's kind of why I flare it out. That way when you push down, the glue tab is already kind of wanting to push towards this paper. And again, I'll just hold that. You can definitely put your hand in there or get a tool in there just to make sure those pieces are touching really well. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so as you can see in there, super easy. I mean, just very modular, just fits right in. Okay, so now we have our little doors. Again, if you like to decorate first, you know, be my guest. I generally just add things at the end. So with this one, and that's why I went ahead and cut the little clasp, um, there's just one more piece to go, or this part, so let's go ahead and glue these guys in. And basically they're just going to go on the back there like that. 
So I'm just going to hold that nice and straight. I'm going to hold on to that till it sets up. And same thing with this side. Just put some glue and hold it on this other side. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we have something else like this. Very quick. Look how cute. Okay, and then we have these guys. So with these guys, basically, you're going to kind of fold it. So you're going to glue this area in here. And it even has a little, like, tuck away area where you know that's where it goes on both sides. So I'm just going to take this little guy. Again, you can make it a decorative color. I just went with the same color of my background here. And so the glue is going to go on the, the right side, <laughs> the nice side. And I'll just tuck that in there. Hold on to that little guy. And then I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Just put glue on that nice side and tuck it right there. Okay, just like we're doing on this one. Okay, guys, so there it is. So you can imagine you close it up, you put a little ribbon, you have your little cart. I mean, how cute is that? My goodness. Okay, I will say, if you want, and I should have mentioned this before, if you want... Um, a little window here and you want to pass through like to actually open through into whatever little treats you have in here then go ahead and put the die so let's imagine we have this guy all right I'm gonna use it in just a moment so we have this one and you see this decorative piece if you're using the inlay you know great um, what I would do is well this was still flat I would think about where I want to put that and if I want the little hole to be open so it goes all the way through go ahead and just kind of eyeball where this is at place this or you know put some tape remove these guys and then when you run through that whole big die just make sure you have that uh, adhered and then when you come back and you do your layers if you want it to open up you'll have a hole there for it to show all the way through okay I hope that makes sense um, for now I'm gonna grab some decorative papers I mean we have our matte layers I'm probably gonna leave them on here just so we can really see what we're looking at so let me put this back on here but, you know, you have a matte layer. It can be decorative paper. It can just be a solid paper. You have the inlay. If you want to use the inlay, you don't have to. Same thing for this side. You have your little window piece um, that you can either cut out or just cut a piece that looks like this and then pop it there. You know what I'm saying? If you had, like, a blue paper or something, you don't have to cut it out. You can just have that lay in there afterward, um, a little piece, which maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we have these other guys, the door. I mean, all these decorative pieces. So let me grab some paper because we're going to finish up a couple more things. Um, like the bar that goes across the bottom is still something they talk about in the um, basic um, instruction there and uh, the wheels and things like that but let me grab some papers for those things the top piece the little signage and I'll be right back so I grabbed a few different colors some black I'm sure I'll need some accent pieces of that I have some chili red classic card I have some pearlescent card in princess pink and I have some fuchsia pink I thought those would be lovely together little accents of gray so there's a couple of style choices we're going to come up with. So um, right now we have this little bar that's going to help you put your wheels and just look cute. So you can either put that now and, you know, have your wheels and then put your panel over on top of that, you know, because you can imagine if your panel is here or do the panels first and then put this as a second, um, you know, piece on top of that. And I think I prefer that look. So I'm going to wait on this although in the instruction they're kind of just walking along because they're assuming maybe you've already decorated it that kind of thing so um just know when you see your instruction if you want to decorate first do that and then add this the little bar or put the bar first and then put the panel over on top it's whatever the choice you know you make on that one um so i want to see what else is left as far as the basic construction before we really get to that part we'll come back for that so the next piece would be this guy remember i mentioned that um you have this piece that goes over the top you know, what color do you want that? If you want it the same as your construction, you could have ran it through already. I think I'm going to make it a fun color. And then you're going to want to take this guy. This little guy is going to help you put your signage, if you want to put a sign on your truck or not. So either, you know, you can put it up here, you can put it in both places, you can put it on the side, on both sides, however, on the front and the side, whatever it is that you think, you know, your little truck needs it as far as its decoration. I'm going to put mine on the side and wherever you put it that's literally where you're going to put your little sign so just you know think about that for a second I'm going to bring this pink paper out I think for that one that's in princess pink and um oh you know it just fits there but that's okay I'm going to put it over here and just imagine where I would want this guy and of course we're going to tape that down so let me cut this out 
Um, the rest of it's going to be just, you know, inlays, matte layers, cute things, whatever you want to do with this guy. So I'm trying to show you your basic pieces and, you know, I'll have some video of when I cut everything else. But let's put that guy there. You can just kind of imagine where that would be. Um, let me grab some tape. Let me hold that guy down. And... I'm just looking at the metal edges, of course. I'll run this through, and um, in the meantime, I'll also run this guy through. Um, be cute and silver, right? I'm just going to run it through black paper, but whatever you want for the background of your sign is good to go. Okay, I'll bring so up have our little base here. I just ran this guy through, and it's going to cut the little piece that's going to help us put our sign up. And while I was doing that, I went ahead and ran this one through. It says Sweet Treats. And you can find it here on your die set, nestled in with your um, sign itself. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down, and then we'll go from there. Actually, let's pop it up. So I'm going to use some dimensionals on that one. That'd be cute. And let me put these on, and I'll be right back. I have some dimensionals on there. I'm just going to pop it on here. And just because it's easier right now that it's flat, for this part in my opinion so I'm just gonna squish that down all right and then we have this guy and basically you're just gonna take this little guy and pop it in so it has score lines and I'm gonna pop this one side down in there and the other side and you can glue those down or just go ahead and glue it when you glue it in but I um, mean you can turn it over and kind of put some glue behind the tabs if you would like Oh, <laughs> a little dry out there. Okay. So I'll hold that down for a minute, but again, you could just go on to putting glue over the whole thing and sticking it on top of your little vehicle. Um, but I'll be right back. Okay, and now I'll get some glue on this. This is pearlescent paper, so I don't want to put too, too much. Just kind of getting it on there. Nice amount. And popping it right on here. I'm going to hold that down and I'll be right back. You can also just flatten this out completely if you need to, but I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So from here, you know, what do you want to do to decorate? You know, we have inlays for our little back door if you would like. You can definitely you know, pop those out. Um, go ahead and do an inlay to deck that out. Maybe you want to leave it just plain white because that's more like a delivery truck. I don't know. Whatever you like. So we have those guys for the door. You have your panels again with inlays or without or with decorative paper or whatever is it you would like to do. So this one is, oops, sorry guys, for the back side of your little guy. So I will do inlays today. So we'll have those because I feel like the construction was pretty quick. So let's uh, take a little more time in showing you some of these other pieces. Um, so with this one, again, do you want a little hole popped in there, which um, you can do, or you can just take a matte layer. You can just, you know, cut this out of black paper, yellow paper, or whatever, and pop it in there. You don't have to make a hole in it right now um, in your matte layer. You know, I would say it probably depends on the color you're using in the background. So if you're using, like, I'm going to use red and pinks and things, maybe I don't want the inside of it to be red, right? So, again, you can just take that and matte layer. You don't have to make a, a little hole. Um... There are window pieces, like this little guy, that definitely, you know, you can pop in there. And again, you can either glue it underneath if you're just using like a black piece of paper or a yellow piece of paper. Or you can actually hinge it to the inside if you're using the actual little hole, right? If you're actually making that uh, opening. So, different ways to play with this. Um, for right now, I think I'll just do the matte layers and then... I'll do that extra like afterwards. So let's see here. We have the one for the front, the one for the back. Oh, and then in the very front you have um, a grill. Let me show you that you can decorate. So you have your lights and then you have a little grill that can go down in here, right? The little lights. So I'll probably run that through some different colors of paper so we can get that going. Um, I want to show you oh, one more piece. Uh, this guy, you can roll this up. It makes like a little triangle shape or kind of like a square shape if you just leave it open but you can put that at the base of this so it looks like a little like a little area where you hand out the treats you know like a little uh, bar I suppose area you know so you can use that in that way so I did want to show you that piece and that's what that is for so for right now let me cut some matte layers and I'll be right back
So we have some matte layers here. I did cut the little window. I just cut it out of blue just so, I don't know, it looked more windowy. Cute to cut it from like, um, just anything. Anything that you would like for it to be behind your window. So let's get some of these pieces going. I did run this through black just so I can get the little, Sorry, um, I was like, where's my little handle? He's right here. So I'm going to keep that there. Um, but generally I do things in a way that I work with it and I put it together right away. So, all right. Um, so with this guy, I'm just going to take some glue and you just decorate your panels however it is that you like. Um, as much or as little, you know, paper piecing, all that stuff that you can think of with something like this. I'm just going to go up with these little strips. A bit like that. They should line up exactly because it's the same die right with the inlay so that's that guy this one and I'll just hold it all down just a minute how cute is that oh my gosh I'm gonna hold that down for just a second and then we'll uh, move on to um, the front panel uh, in the meantime I will also run through I suppose well Let's put it together and then we'll do that. I was going to do the window portion, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Okay, that guy is ready to go. And then we have our doors in the back. Let's get this guy going. I'll do the same thing with the second one. Just line them up. Okay, I'll do the same thing with this one and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we have our two back door areas, the one side, I need to put that away. Um, bring this guy over and again just like I did the other one just put glue all over the back up the little pieces and lay it on here okay and let's take our door and then I'll just do the little inlay so I did run the door again through some light blue paper and through some black paper to get our little um, door like knob or handle which is right here and then like a little blue for the window I'm just kind of following where I think that should go and put that in, put this guy in. Okay, so again, that's just the door die, just running it again a couple times so that you can get the black handle and the paper piecing for that guy. Um, I mean, I can probably pop these guys on, why not? So like I said, I'm gonna put that bar down at the bottom for the wheels later. So I can get this guy on here right now. Just eyeballing that where that looks nice. And then our doors. And something like that. Okay. You know, I always just have the die stuck down with uh, washi. And then I just, when I have to do a second one, I just lift it up exactly the way it is and I pop it onto another area of the paper to run it through. So when they come out, they pretty much look the same. So I just wanted to make sure that they were kind of in the same orientation. Cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. You don't have to put this very top piece until the end if you don't want to. Like if you feel like that might be something you want to be taken care of, just put it at the end. And this guy will go last. Uh, I'm going to do our window in just a second. And then we again have our little grill um, portions for the front. I suppose they can go like here. And then our little lights. The lights I cut out, you know, it's on the same die and they're gold. So I thought, yeah, I can probably just leave them gold. That'd be really cute. Um, but if you want to run it through a different color, you know, yellow or whatever it is that you like, you can definitely do that. So let's see. I'm just going to pop this guy on first. Actually, let's put the little bar first. That way I can see how high up the other piece needs to go. Cute. I'm just centering it as best I can. Left and right. I'm going to hold that for a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, and then we'll take this part. And I'm just going to hold it there, try to make it nice and straight, and I'll be right back. 
And then our little lights. I'm just going to pop some glue here and here where I think they should go. Nope. And pop those on. Okay, and as that sets up, I'm going to go ahead and cut out a couple of other items. Let me just show you. You know, place your lights wherever you think they should go. That's good. We have the windshield also, so don't forget that. So for that one, let me bring this over. I'm going to take this guy and run it through just some black paper. I think that'll just be that way. And then I'll have like a little treat in here or something. So that if you want to put little windows like this, um, I'm going to run this through maybe some red or well, maybe the pink. Maybe the pink because it's kind of in the background. So I'll run this through the kind of fuchsia -y color, this one. Uh, so two of them, because it's like the little window openings, if you would like. And then you have this one that's your windshield. And so I'll run this through twice. Once through black to get this in black, and then another time through blue to get this light blue. You know, silver, whatever colors you like, gold, you know, wherever you have gold accents here and there. Whatever color you think is cute for that, but I'll be right back. Now again, we could have already, you know, put these silver bands here that are going to help you hold your wheels on. Um, again, my style choice was to do that afterward. So we have this guy. And basically, if you want these, I'm going to go ahead and glue them behind. So I'm going to take the glue tab and go ahead and fold it um, towards the wrong side, like the rough cut side, okay, on both of them. So that way the nice side is facing out. Oopsie, hold on. It is pretty close to where you have your decorative elements, so just be careful. And we can put some glue on here or put the glue on the glue tab. Again, this is the right side, so I'm putting essentially glue on the wrong side, right? The back side of the tab. But it was easier for me just to place it on here. I thought that was cute. <laughs> cute way to do it. It makes it easier. All right, and then we'll pop this on here. And just pop that here. Okay. And again, if you want to have like a little bar area, you can definitely um, use that one die I had pointed out earlier. Okay. And then our little window, again, I ran this through black and through blue. So I want the blue inside piece. I don't need this anymore. And the black outer piece for my windshield. So I'm putting this here. Just going for that. And then I'll put some glue on this. Bring this guy over. Super cute. Oh my goodness. And that'll pretty much just stay there. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue this guy down. Cute. And we'll come in and decorate with some other items. Uh, there you go. Okay, I will be right back. So I was gluing that down and I started putting this stuff um, back away. I was like, you know what? We can do a little um, awning too, which would be really cute. So I'm not allowing this to really stick down quite yet. That way I can get this awning under there. So why don't we go ahead and do the awning? So let's do the awning red, um, maybe with some pink accents. So I'm gonna run this through red and then this through the uh, soft pink and I'll be right back. A little bit closer for you. So in this one, we have these little pieces. I don't know if, you know, how many we actually need. It comes with five. Let's just fold this actually before I do that. So you can imagine this is going to go, that glue tab is going to tuck in there and then this guy just kind of comes up like this right for your awning. So let's just not get extra glue everywhere. That'd be great. Okay. I'm just going to take that and pop these little guys on every other one. There's that one. I'll leave the a space and then I'll just go down the line that way and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so perfect. It cuts out five little uh, scallops and you need five in there. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck this in the back. And I'm going to put glue on the side that touches the car but also on this side since I kind of popped it up and didn't let the glue 
um, settle in that area. I'm going to want to bring that back in, so I'll bring this in here. Of course, you could attach this before you put it onto your car, <laughs> or onto your little vehicle. Um, just going to push that down in. I think that looks cute right there. I'm bring it over just to the very edge. Okay, I'm going to hold that down, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, look how cute all that detail again. Bar, no bar, whatever it is you like. You have that in there super cute so now I'm going to go ahead and cut those gray portions or whatever color you would like to use for that uh, area so let me put this back over here um, I'm gonna cut out two of these and then we have our little tires here and they have some different pieces so I you know I'm gonna cut this out of black I suppose um, it has like decorative kind of dots cut out of it so gray black we have this guy maybe um I, i'll run these through gold and since we have four wheels for these little guys if you're going to use them i'm going to cut out four of these out of gold since i'm doing a lot of gold accents um you have these little guys in the center so maybe silver or white again you can you know decide what you want to do with that but i'll probably do them just like this with the inlay um out of some silver paper and i'll be right back so just a little up close I'll leave it that way and I'm just going to put together some of these pieces before we put them onto the delivery truck or treat truck there so I have my four wheels and these little guys so I'm just going to put these on um, yeah just straight away pop those on there and then we'll um, add these to that little gray strip that we have, or at least I'm using gray. So I'm gonna do this with all four. The other two are still in here, <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's just back up just a little bit. It's not too tight there. So we have our pieces, and so we can bring these guys over again. They could have been underneath, you know, or on top, however you want to do this portion of it. It could have been under the mat layers. I'm just gonna put some glue on that guy and there's one for either side it does say to just mount it or to add it flush to you know, the bottom of your little car vehicle here like that and i'll put one on the other side holding it massaging both sides at the same time keep those down and so we have these little areas here where your um tires go so this doesn't have an inlay the wheel it's just what it is with the little dots if you want to maybe see if you have a circle punch or a circle die in your stash that you can put a background on that go ahead i am just going to pop it on here just the way it is so i'm actually gonna put the glue on here kind of at the very edge and then towards the center because i know that's where the little holes kind of are and i'm sure they'll be there anyway so i can add that guy and then you have this little cover anyhow so i mean you don't have to use these but if you're going to use them you're going to cover that up Okay, so I'm going to go around all four spots. There are like little areas where you can see where it goes. See that? I'll do the same thing on all four spots. Okay, guys, and so there are four little wheels. Super cute. Again, you can be just like that. And actually, if you just stand them up, then you're good to go because we used the little guide that was there. Um, so I do have my little gold accent pieces that I basically um, just put some dimensionals on the back of these, this pair, and just pop them on there. I suppose, you know, as high or as low as you like. I think it looks cute right there, so I'm just going to pop it there. Right? Um, you can lower them or however you would want. Or you can place these first and then the wheels over the top of that. Just depends where you want them on your little design. I'm going to put my hand in here so I can push down really well. Look how cute. So I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. We're just going to add our detail here. Okay, guys. I mean, how cute is this? Our little guy's ready to be decked out. I mean, he looks great just like this, to be honest. I mean, if that's where you want to stop, then perfect. You know, just put a little ribbon in here. And you have all that space to fill this guy up with little treats, maybe a gift card in there, all kinds of cute things. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take some of the sweet treats because that's what I said this little guy was about. So again, they have the background piece. They have... Um, you know just the design you can paper piece in here if you would like uh, I'm going to take things like this cone and I don't know if you can see so it's going to cut that guy but then it's also going to cut this middle piece out so you know pink cone maybe maybe a waffle color down here or however whatever it is that you want for that um, and then you have the background piece if you want to use that um, I think I will and I think maybe I'll do like sweet treats so let's say something like that maybe the little pretzel and our little uh, cupcake and 
I'll be right back. Maybe I'll have some um, images there of die cutting. But basically, I'm just going to run these guys through. If I'm going to do a black background, I'll probably do black backgrounds on all of them. Maybe not. Maybe this one can have a brown background, the pretzel, so it's brown and then like a tan color. Something like that. But I'll be back. so cute so I'm just gonna pair these guys up in the way that I want them to be on here so oh actually I need to run the ice cream cone one more time this pretty small area so I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of my hand and pat that off and then put that on here a little bit of the background out there looks good and then I'll just fill this in now you know I could have gone with like a dark brown just to make it match up with the waffle cone a little nicer you can also paper piece you know back into that area color with something else but there we have that um our little pretzel i'm just gonna pop that on here and you know what i'll probably grab like a white gel pen and just add some little dots on it so it looks like salt and that's cute so again with a just a gel pen just go and put some little dashes all over that and then we have this guy i might paper piece this one also as far as the top of the little um cupcake portion there maybe some white frosting or something so if i do that just run it through just get that white and then pop those pieces in okay but i'll be back So I have all these cute little icons that I can place here and there. You know, they can be in here, like in the little window or, you know, whatever it is you want to do. Um, again, um, you know, the sky's the limit. So uh, let me see. I'm thinking if I put one of these little guys in here or a couple of them. I can pop one in. Actually, let's do this. Let's do a pretzel in the background like that and then maybe the cupcake just kind of popped up a little bit on a dimensional it's kind of in there and I mean you have icons again I mean you can put a little ice cream on the front or something or wherever you want to put these icons um, I'm thinking let's take this guy maybe put him on here somewhere like on the signage that'd be cute huh Okay, let's take a dimensional. I don't know if that's all I need, just a dimensional here. Maybe a little glue behind right here, just so it touches the sign. Like in there. Yeah, that's about right in the back. And then maybe a little pretzel in the front. I'm actually going to put this sticky piece on here first and then see where I can just kind of place the pretzel since it's just kind of a bigger piece. And I still have a couple of things to play with there. So let's say sweet treats. <laughs> How cute is that? And I still have an ice cream cone here. I mean, you can be wherever you want to place that. <laughs> That's really cute. Uh, I mean, the cupcake. 
And I just made a bunch of fun things. Um, let me think about where else I want to place this and I'll come back and show you. I mean, actually, they can go on the back too, huh? Yeah, let's put them on this other side. So let's do an ice cream treat. They can go on the back door. And then I'm going to pop this on some dimensionals and just put it on that side too. Hey okay, guys, and there you go. Super cute. Lots of details quickly added. I mean, just adorable. Every little bit that you continue to put on there just really makes the project stand out. And then of course you can fill all that in and then just put a little ribbon, a little closure there, and you're good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy your March Madness week with uh, Tonic. Again, I'll have all the info there in the description box as far as... Um, what's going on with the week and sales and things and, me, and thank you so much Tonic Studios for sponsoring this video. I'll have images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.